Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect and we are going to proceed in our journeys through the galaxy to the Artemis Tau sector. We are currently leaving the Argos Rose sector and it's a long way around to Artemis Tau and then after that we will head to Hades Gamma and beyond. Taking a look at the Artemis Tau sector there are actually four different systems that we can visit. I'm going to, well, let's see, Knossos, Athens, Macedon, Sparta. Well, we'll go in chronological order, which means Knossos is the oldest. We've been to this sector before, I know, but we didn't really go through it in detail. Phaistos, nothing there. Therum, nothing there. Zakros. No luck. Are many? Nope. Oh, this is so far disappointing. One planet left. Arcanus. We can survey Arcanus. There is a gas deposit of nitrogen. Well, uh... There's a gas giant. You wouldn't really think that nitrogen would be too rare, but okay. So, uh, altogether, not very interesting. We, we went through all of them. Okay, well, that takes care of Knossos. Okay, then, uh, I actually don't know which one was older, Athens or Sparta. I'll go with Athens and then Sparta. Okay, innermost planet is Salamis. No luck. Proteus. Well, that's a suggestive name. Let's survey Proteus. Has a large amount of free oxygen. Well, that's helpful. High gravity. Uh, heavy atmosphere. Uh, not horrible on the temperature. And there is... And there is oxygen. Nausicaa? Nope. Circe. We can survey Circe and we found Helium-3. And finally, Pharos. Where we found a Turin Insignia. Okay. So we're proceeding on those side quests. Nothing else to explore here, apparently. Sparta? Yep. Sorry, it's sort of a slow beginning. We haven't really hit any uh, major mission here. Tremandre? I don't know how to pronounce it, actually. That's an interesting name. Commander, I'm picking oh. up a signal from the planet's surface. Here we go. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Automated distress beacon. Well... Well, the chances that the automated distress beacon is probably some geth, huh? Well, let's find out. Okay. I, I really don't like Caden, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I point this out because I think I keep rotating between the other five, and I systematically avoid Caden. Now, I'm a tech type, so I also probably don't opt for Tali as much, but I guess we can bring her along this time. And I guess we'll bring Ashley's combat strength. So it'll b we'll be a little bit short on biotics, but um, that's what I'm good at, so. What are those things in the sky? There were definite... Yeah, it's uh, quite a storm of things. Are, are you sure that we shouldn't have like a level 5 hazard thing going here? Jeez. Wow. Didn't expect to see stuff like this going on. Okay, well, we already pointed out the distress signal. Let's go for it, but you know how this might go. Sandy, very June-ish, but with uh, bombardment going on, really. No big surprise that there might be a distress signal here. 
At this rate, the Geth don't even have to show up. We might just accidentally get hit by something. Oh, that's an interesting... Fresher mom. Uh oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. One of these. We faced this before. Actually, we're not doing too badly, as long as it doesn't pop up right under us. Okay, we are apparently out of its zone. I'm trying to be cautious here, but... Okay. We did not do too much damage that time. Oh, shoot! I can't even see it. Ah. Where is it now? Um, I see it indicated on my map, but I don't think it's there. Oh, now. Well. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's, it's close by. And I'm upside down. I didn't realize that could happen with the map. Oh. Okay, well, I got it. But we're sort of upside down. Think we got him, Commander. That's not our biggest problem right now. Um, I, ah, we have thrusters. You know, normally you don't need to worry about the thrusters, but we have thrusters. Let's heal. The space bar ignites the thrusters. Okay, all healed up. Let's save after that. Okay, well. This isn't level terrain? Jeez. Okay, uh, Alliance Marine. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. Lured by the distress beacon? I guess somebody just. Admiral Kahoku's men. We need to tell them what happened here. Admiral Kahoku. Okay, well, we found Admiral Kahuku's men. And hopefully we didn't actually run over them. Okay, I think this is roughly the right direction. Up, up, up. You can do it. You can do it, Marco. There you go. The Marco was very frustrating when there was, like, stuff surrounding us and walls all around. But in open terrain, it's a delight. Okay, we're going in the right direction. Very ominous sounds from the stuff crashing into other things. Uh, oh, sorry, we, we really did run over this person a few times. There's no hazard here, by the way. Mummified Solarian, a cover artifact. Okay, Captain Millen's identification tag. How it ended up here, it's impossible to know for sure. Okay. Um, I, I feel like we need to... What, Captain who? <laughs> okay, that's the distress beacon thing, and we haven't solved that one yet, even though uh, we have to, oh, uh, we haven't finished that because we have to talk to Admiral Kahoku. Okay, we've got 4 out of 13 Turian emblems, uh, gases, uh, helium-3, uh, we're 5 out of 6, so we're pretty close to being done with the helium-3. Not so good on these. Sarian writings, only 2? I thought we had gotten more than 2 from Matriarch. Dilanaga. Yeah, I don't know who this captain is. Okay, well, we have got one more place to go to, and it's basically south of here. Okay, uh, this looks like the debris. It's another probe. Right, well, I know what to do with this. I know 
just what to do with you. Oh wow, this is a tough probe. Um, ah, messed up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, sure, I'll try the Omni Gel, even though it's uh, not that great. Okay, I think we've cleared this. Return to Normandy. Okay, so let's check out the other planets. Adalus was the second, so we need to go to the third one, which is Altaya. Nothing here. Ontamalka. Survey. Got hydrogen, but not helium-3. Alsages. Survey. Plutonium. That's different. Okay, and I think that does it for this system. So that was Sparta. That leaves Macedon. And then we will have cleared the Artemis Tau sector and we can head back to the Citadel in order to deliver the message of that Admiral's troops. Okay, we have to land here to do things. Let's check out Parolin. Survey. Okay, Matriarch Del Naga's writings. Patavig. Nope. And finally, Far Fargalus. Xenon. Okay, well, we will land at Shargila. Level 1 pressure warn hazard. Uh, wow, uh, a level 1 pressure hazard is 39 atmospheres. <laughs> That's quite a lot of pressure. Okay, uh, this time... How about, uh, will we go super biotic or something? Liara and Rex. Yeah, we haven't done that mix before. Not much combat strength, but... We'll try it out. Okay, what do we have here? Well, Stronghold, Anomaly, Debris. Let's go for the Debris first. Stronghold. That seems tough. Let me see. That, that seems tough. Okay, Crash Probe. On my way. This is a tougher probe. Oh, I can't get through that. Ah. Okay, well, hmm. I should have gone over on that side. Oh, well, bypass. Nearing the limit. Yeah, let's Omni Gel half the stuff. Okay, level 1 hazard. We don't want to become crushed by the pressure. Let us head. Let's go to the stronghold. I mean, it's closer than the anomaly. Ah, uh, they're bad guys. Let me see, can I F5 here? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, it was a, called a stronghold. It's not like they were trying to fool us or anything. Pretty blatant. Pretty darn obvious. Okay, can I shoot at them yet? Jeez. Okay. It's not fair, it's not letting me shoot. There we go. Nice to be able to get rid of the pirates like this instead of having to do it all the hard way on foot. Take that, pirate scum. There's more of them over here. Yeah, these pirates are tough though. Honestly. I mean, not 
with the Mako, but, you know, on foot, they seemed really difficult. Clear. Okay. Well, it's clear out here, but I don't know if it's going to be clear in there. Pretty sure not. That's F5. En route. Okay, let's get out of the hazard. Weapons ready. They are to need better shielding, jeez. Okay, let me... What? Why do you guys not have enough shields? Uh, well, for Rex it's his armor and the fact that we haven't picked up any good Krogan armor. Liara... Liara's got the scorpion armor which has good shields. Yeah, much better than that assassin armor or anything. So I don't know why she apparently doesn't have very good shielding. Okay, well we see that they're enemies, we know that they're pirates. Uh, does anybody want to say, hey, uh, I know what's going to happen here? It was sort of by luck that I had Rex along for the other one. Uh, maybe this is a place where where somebody else would have had uh, some, something. Jeez. Oh, well, these guys are not tough pirates. At least I didn't take too many shots to kill that one. This one, oh, there's a Krogan though. Oh, not the I will destroy you type pirate. Enemy is everywhere. Hold the line. Go, go, go. Hold the line. Oh, okay. Wow. Just come right up against us, why don't you? Don't bother with the salty, folks. Step right up. Well, yeah, th they're pushovers by comparison to the other bunch of pirates. But there's a lot of them. Asari Slaver? Hmm, that's this that's the kind of pirate we're dealing with here, huh? I didn't know we'd be facing Asari slavers. Slavers, hmm. I think we got him, Commander. Is there no death that the Asari will not sink to? Really? Okay, manual override. Okay, that's successful. Let, let me check. Uh, does oh, we've got more items. So they're just they're just trying to make me uh, over the weapon limit now, aren't they? This Scorpion Six armor I can upgrade. Yes. Oh, medium armor for Krogans. Exactly what I wanted. Yes. Except he's pink. Well, I mean, there's not much choice. Either I uh, let him go pink and white. Ashley style, or I give him the the level one mercenary armor, which is much worse. So I guess we're going to go with this. Interesting look for him. Sorry, Rex. I don't think that's your color. I mean, really, he's uh, he's sort of yellow and red, not white and pink. Healthy thing. Ah, <sighs> so many items. Oh, another hardened storage locker that I can't access. Okay, well, I, I've, I've, uh, I've leveled up. Um, decryption, decryption. I don't think that's gonna be enough, but... Wow, Liara has... How does... Wait, why... Why does Liara now have 51 points to distribute? Did I miss something? I, I had distributed points to her, I'm pretty sure. Well, uh, maybe not, I guess. Okay, she's been doing pretty well for somebody who hasn't had points distributed to her. Maybe we should just avoid that. You never know. She could become super dangerous. I want more singularity points for her. Because I don't have that skill. 
Yeah, increases health. He's our tanky guy anyway. Okay, well, let's see if the extra points I put into the decryption make a difference. No, they don't. Investigate death. You discover evidence that the Asari leading these slavers and uh, Nasana Dantius, an important ambassador to the Citadel, are sisters. You should return to the Presidium and confront Na N Nisanda, Nisanda with this. Okay, we're downloading the evidence. That's no good. And so two hardened storage lockers that we can't access. Crazy. Gotta get that decryption skill up. Okay. So we have another reason to go to the Citadel, but first we must inv investigate the other anomaly on the planet. And then we can go back. We've got two things to do there. Oh, looks like on the way to the anomaly we might uh, find some more minerals. Thorium deposit. That's good. Thorium is important. Mineral surveyed. Ooh, that's a red sun right there. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, land on our feet. Or orangish sun. Depends on the atmosphere, I suppose. Okay, well, this is an anomaly, alright. What is this little hut for? No bad guys popping out. Asari capsule. Hmm. These Asari. They're tricky ones. Matriarch's writings. Okay, well, in this case, not so tricky. Very, very straightforward. Okay. Alright, time to go back to the, uh, to the Normandy. Yep. So as far as I can tell, we've cleared the Artemis Tau sector, and now we're going to hop back over to the Citadel in order to report our findings. Okay. Let us talk to peoples. I guess this is a fine time to bring Caden out. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Anybody here to meet me? No. Alright. Oh, Normandy weapons. We can inspect them from here. Huh. The things you find out. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. Yay. We'll have exclusive footage later today. I don't know if that's going to be the reception everybody's going to give my interview with her, but all right. Yeah, this is the Embassy Lounge. Various diplomats. That's an Asari, but not the Asari that we need to speak with. There is Nasana. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. Kidnapped by slavers. Well. Uh. I don't know. Uh, I'll go if don't lie to me. Dahlia's dead, Nasana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? Well, she was back. If people found her. out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find I'll be wanting uh, something more, actually. I'm a specter, not some merc for hire. I can find credits anywhere. Indeed. True. But I'm the only one who can authorize you to purchase prototype Asari Ooh. mods. 
prototype. We'll get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. We'll Goodbye, see about Shepard. that. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. We'll see about that. Okay, uh, I guess um, we would get those mods from our our shipboard requisition officer. That's just an assumption on my part. I haven't really visited the financial district. Is there any reason to? Let's just continue to Citadel Tower. I'm going a long way. I could take rapid transit, but I'm just enjoying the view. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. Oh, th I, 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 there's a uh, side quest. You're creating a public disturbance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Uh, okay. Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're pathetic. Uh, but, uh, let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Uh, having trouble? Uh... This isn't the way you're breaking the law. Well, it's not uh, blue or red. I'll, I'll go if this isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. There's trouble anyway. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. Then buy the permit. If you want people's respect, you have to follow the rules. Buy the permit and stay out of here. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Okay, renegade points, and job done. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Not a problem. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay, well, uh, Omni Gel plus a tiny bit of experience. Uh, okay, uh, which way to the tower again? This way. Wait. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? What's going on here? I don't care here? what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Uh, this sounds very personal. I don't know if I should be butting in, but hey, uh, I'm a specter. I I butt in. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Ah, uh, that's up to her. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, she's responsible for the child, right? I mean, I don't know what he's really butting in for. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I don't know how uh, this is acting blindly out of grief. How does the fact that her husband died determine whether she seeks gene? I don't understand it. You're not helping of anything. Of course she is. So are you. Yelling at her will not bring your brother back. Yeah, okay. How dare you? I'm trying to do what's best for the baby. 
Garbage. You're afraid you'll lose the baby just like you lost your brother. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Okay. More renegade points. That's all I want, really. Okay, um... I thought I was going the right way for the Citadel Tower, but... Unless we go here, but there's no arrows this way. Ah, two Citadel Tower, okay. Elevator. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. <laughs> Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. That would be a very interesting Hamlet to watch. Yeah. Hamlet's very interesting, actually, altogether. Uh, that would be an especially interesting Hamlet. Though, the way the Elcor speak, I don't know. If they go for the long version of Hamlet, that could be quite tedious. Emily Wong? Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hold on, hold on, Emily Wong. I have uh, business to attend to with an admiral. No, uh, here we go. Speak with one of the... Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? I found your men. You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? They're dead. I found them. Well, what was left of them. They ran into a Thresher Mall. A uh, Thresher Mall? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Uh, it was a trap. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance Beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Uh... Actually, interesting. Can I help? Because, I mean, I don't know. Who placed the beacon, exactly? Was it... I mean, it doesn't seem like a geth thing to do. Why would somebody want to take out these guys in particular? Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. How does this tie in with everything else? And we gotta level up. Okay, um... Well, there's another keeper. Anything going on with these guys back here? Nope. Okay, let me through. Oh, I, uh, there's no jumping in this game. Alright, I guess we'll talk to Emily Wong to round out the Citadel, and then uh, in the next episode we'll take on the Hades Gamma Cluster. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the Crime Syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Traffic that controllers? seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Oh, this is great. Sure, uh, I'll try. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. This is sneaky stuff. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. 
Or it could actually back... Uh, uh, she could be doing something nasty. Who knows? But then again, um, she did that story on the crime syndicate. She can't be all that bad. Okay, where are we planning a bug? Um, near the back of CSEC. Okay. Alright. Rapid transit. I don't want to walk all the way to CSEC. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Uh, overworked? It doesn't seem like it. It's pretty empty down there. I assume that's the bay or something like that. Hmm. I'm just scanning this keeper. Okay, uh, do we go back to her? Yeah, we have to inform Emily. I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was a good cause. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. And if there's anything else sneaky, you oh, I got Paragon points. Dang it. Uh, yeah, uh, but, but, but it was sneaky. It was renegade-y. We're, we're putting bugs in places. Whatever. What is, what is the balance for me right now? Uh, I think I'm a little bit more renegade. Go figure. I think I'll hold on to the two points to see where I should actually put it. Caden has only six points to distribute, actually. he's uh, He's been updated recently. Okay, so I think this will wrap it up for this episode, and next episode we'll head to the Hades Gamma Cluster. Uh, but for now, I'll just get back to Normandy, and I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.